In this exercise, we're going to use the Chapter 3 Editing Tools file located in the Chapter 3 folder. From the Startup screen, click on Open, browse to your Chapter 3 folder, select Chapter 3 Editing Tools, and click on Open. From your Project Browser, double click on Level O Ceiling Plan. At this point, we want to extend our lighting design. If I scroll into the plan, you can see that there are already lighting fittings in this layout. I can select three lighting fittings by clicking on each one of them in turn while holding the control key. From the Modify panel, click on Array. Then take a look at what the Options bar tells us. Here we can specify Linear Array, Radial Array, Group and Associate, the number in the array, move the copies to second or last, and the option to constrain. I'd like my light fittings to be spaced in a similar manner to the existing ones, so I can use the base points here as my offset. Now I can add a number for my array. Because the group and associate tick box was checked, once I've made this change, I can come back and keep on editing the number in my array. Here I've achieved an error. It tells me that an instance origin does not lie on a host face and that the instance will lose association to the host. What this means is that the light fitting is no longer sitting on the ceiling to which it belongs. So for this instance, I'm going to reduce my array number. As we still have this associativity, I can continue to edit this layout. I can select one of the groups in the array and move it. This has moved all the array items. Changing my lighting design and altering the entire layout really easily. Let's do that again. Click on Move. Move the light fittings. And I've achieved the error again. This time because my spacing was too large. Once I've finished manipulating this design, I'm going to select all the light fittings in the array group and ungroup them. They all now act as independent light fittings and no longer belong to any group.